Hey guys, so on today's video, I'm gonna do a sort of like an updated version of my favorite pods, but this time I'm gonna do it for Virtuo and Original. So whatever machine you have, I'm gonna give you a few options. There are definitely more Virtuo options, but I'm not gonna leave out those original users either because I do have some recent favorites within that line as well. So let's get started with this video. I actually have my iPad here because I made a few notes on it about the pods, because sometimes I forget exactly what their notes are so i just don't want to miss a thing so if you see me looking down it's because of that but the first one that i'm going to talk about is ice forte now this one has been around for a while it's not new by any means but i used to kind of ignore it like i i even said it in one of the videos that i preferred ice legero but i found myself using this pod in the last month so much and even my husband really appreciates it this one is known to be let me hold on this one is a dark and bold roasted pod and it has supposedly like peppery notes i don't taste that maybe maybe i might if i tried it without milk but honestly milk is always a must for me and in coffee so the peppery isn't a big deal for me it's not like i i can i can't taste it at all but i like this pod for creamers so usually with a big pot like this you're gonna get about seven point something ounces almost eight ounces of coffee and so with these pods since they brew so much i noticed that it's better to use them with creamer because then you don't run that risk of like oh my cup is too small i can't use the amount of milk that i usually use because even if i do use milk i always use a half a cup for these huge cup, um, pods but with ice you run out of you run out of space with ice so i've been enjoying this one with creamer and if you follow me on instagram i started using this one with pumpkin spice latte creamer from starbucks i've paired it with um the starbucks toffee nut creamer oh my god so good and so i can imagine that this pod will work well with pretty much any creamer it is so good and because ice forte is a much bolder darker roast than ice leggero espresso you can still taste a nice bold caffeine flavor but it's not too strong i like it it's way better than what bianco forte is i know i did like bianco forte with ice but this one it's even better so definitely give it a shot if you haven't tried it and try it with your favorite creamer regardless of what it is i think you will like it over ice next. so good the next pot is this one this is melozio here's how the pot looks like i don't think i showed you guys ice forte do you want to see it up close <laughs> this is ice forte up close okay but melozio is a level six pot and i don't think i've ever spoken about this one Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think I have, and I don't know how I missed it. I think I've tried it twice, and once from their like sample pack, and then once from their like advent calendar last year. But I haven't ordered a sleeve, so this is the first time I ordered a sleeve, and I found myself loving it so much. Like I said, it's a level six intensity. It's round and smooth. It's a biscuity cereal pod, and honestly, if Bianco Leggero was a humongous pod, I think it would be a lot like Melozio. When you add milk to this, oh my God, it's so good. And again, because it's a big pod, you can just add creamer and I think you would get a really nice experience. And because of the base notes not being a little too like fruity or herbal, you know, like that, I think this pod lends itself to pretty much any flavor that you wanna use it with. So creamer with milk or syrup, whatever you want. I have been enjoying it with the toffee nut from Starbucks and then if I do use oat milk I'll add the oat milk and then I've been enjoying it with French vanilla, caramel, uh, cinnamon bun syrup from Torani. So good. So so good. You guys have to try it. And by the way, I shared on Instagram, I got an email. I'm sure if you guys have emails from Nespresso then you already know. They're doing without their decaf pads and they're bringing in new ones and I think one of the new ones is going to be decaf melozio and i know if you don't like decaf don't talk don't talk about it if you don't like it it's okay but if you do like decaf sometimes you want the coffee flavor without the caffeine kick in the evening that is me so i'm a little excited that it might be melozio as a decaf so we'll see in the near future i think they're going to come out with them in, a, in the next month or so but that is exciting 
on its own this one is my next favorite and i'm not going to talk too much about it because i did do a full-on review on uganda this is uganda it's one of their longo sites pads so this one's going to brew about five ounces and i like pairing this one with oat milk you know what if you guys have tried the chobani vanilla oat milk not the creamer the the milk and you pair it with this i feel like you don't even need syrup and it's such a nice experience so if you're trying to cut down on sugar the milk still has sugar but it's not as nearly as much as what syrups would have and it pairs really nice with this pod i love longos i know a lot of people don't understand what they are they're still espresso drinks but a longo is brewed with more water so as your machine is pouring out you you're going to notice that it's going to take just a little bit longer to finish because it's brewing more water with the pot it's not an americano because americanos you add the water afterwards and it's a one-to-one -one ratio with an americano but it's just a tiny bit more water with your espresso shot so it's not a heavy concentration of caffeine as you were to have with espresso but um i don't know it's it's a really nice pot. I like it. I like Lungos. And if you guys are still confused about Lungos, let me know in the comments. But I hope that little like description explains it better. This one, Uganda, is a level six. And it's a wild, floral, woody, flowery pot. The nice thing about this one is I don't remember... Like, I, I don't like black coffee. So you're going to know that I'm just always going to add milk or creamer to my coffee. I tried it black and I believe I liked it black. Maybe not. I don't know. I can't remember. But once you add milk, I feel like that flowery like stuff goes away. And the woodiness, it's so good. It was really, it's a really nice experience. It's a pod that you have to try. And if you want to try it with syrup, I would definitely do French vanilla. I don't know what it is about that French vanilla from Monin. It pairs so well with other with a lot of pods. And this was one of them. Uganda oat milk. If it's not flavored, then you would put French vanilla syrup or just oat milk vanilla. So good. And it has to be the Chobani one. I don't think I've tried any other ones. Um, vanilla flavor. That Chobani one's vanilla flavor is spot on. Very potent. So if you don't like vanilla, maybe don't try it. But I mean, if you like vanilla, I think you would really enjoy that one. So this is another good pot that I've been enjoying. This one is Volteso. Ooh, it's another one of those pots that I've tried with their sample pack but not really have purchased it on my own and i don't know why because it's a very classic pod i would really call this a classic pod the only sad part is that it's a single espresso and i wish it would be double espresso i honestly think that virtual should only have double espressos in my opinion but i don't know <laughs> all right so volteso is a light and sweet espresso pod it's a level four it's um very biscuity and whiny huh i wouldn't have guessed whiny but i i almost bet you that whiny goes away with the with the milk it's round coffee that reveals biscuity notes and pronounces a distinctively sweet aroma than thanks to its south uh, american arabicas blend volteso with milk for a delicious new take on this espresso for an even smoother result that's what it is it's very smooth and you could definitely taste those like biscuity notes I'm gonna have to try it without milk. I've never um, tried it without milk, but I think that's when you would actually taste like the whiny notes. But with milk, it goes away. I'm, I'm assuming because I don't, I don't taste that. But this one is nice for your favorite recipes. Like if you want a caramel ice latte, if you want a French vanilla latte, whatever kind of lattes that you want, this is gonna be your go-to. But again, I like my lattes with a double shot of espresso. So I almost, I almost wish that they would make this as a double. Because otherwise I have to use two of these. I know some of you guys have suggested me to reuse it. I have done it. But I don't like it. I don't like it. it the second shot just always comes out too watery for me. So I always have to just use two. It's a little bit more expensive. But even then it's still less than what you would pay at Starbucks. So... Volteso is another one, a really nice pot that I like and enjoy, and it's not too strong. Um, obviously, it's like a level four intensity, but I like it. Last but not least with Virtual is this one. This is Audacio. It's a level seven, and it's a big, humongous pod that's going to brew 7.77 fluid ounces. And this one, when I need... And Okay, so... I, I've been, I don't know if you guys know, I've been meaning to mention it because somebody mentioned it, I don't know if it was on YouTube or Instagram, where they 
thought that the decafs um they thought that altizio wasn't a decaf because of how strong it was i think altizio is like a level seven or an eight so i wanted to address that because the level intensity that you guys see does not refer to the amount of caffeine that you guys are going to get it refers to the intensity of the flavor the roast of the coffee the higher the number the stronger the roast so volteso for example is a level four that's considered more on the lighter side of roast and then this one is a level seven so it's going to be a stronger roast you're going to taste more coffee flavor it doesn't refer to the caffeine at all the caffeine content honestly you would think that an espresso would have more caffeine but this one has more caffeine because it's a bigger pot and you're drinking more coffee hopefully that makes sense but if it doesn't um you can go to the espresso website and they actually list the amount of caffeine found in per size of pot so espressos will have less caffeine than these big humongous pots because you're literally drinking more more coffee so you're gonna have more caffeine if that makes any sense but the number the intensity has nothing to do with caffeine Caf coffee is coffee and coffee is gonna have caffeine regardless of how it's roasted so yeah just wanted to put that out there hopefully that helps but yeah going back to audacio it's a level intensity seven so it's gonna have more coffee flavor it's more roasted super good though i tend to shy away from like stronger roast coffee but this one is really good and if i need it in the morning where it's just like i need something strong tasting audacio is my my jam like i love it bold and lively coffee intensity level seven roasted and cereal and i think that's why i like it i tend to like biscuity cereal roasted sometimes even woody uh capsules so when i see those words on those descriptions i feel like it's gonna be good even if it's like a stronger roast i think it's gonna be good and i do i like it it's good i think this one pairs really well with those like heavier tasting syrups and by heavy i mean like um cinnamon bun um spice brown sugar i think this one would be perfect with a pumpkin spice latte creamer like those kind of like more hefty flavoring syrups you know nothing like french vanilla to me french vanilla is more of like a lighter tasting syrup and as well as like a pistachio it's like lighter tasting i don't know if that's just me and mental relation <laughs> to the flavors but that's what i think so I think this one will be perfect for some fall inspired recipes which those are coming in a few weeks um but yeah audacio a must okay so moving on to original line and i'm going to tell you guys first if you guys just have our tool machines stick around i know some of you guys have been curious about like having both machines i've had tons of people ask me on instagram like why do you have two do i need to and this is what i found so back in the day when i first got my first mini essenza i used to use just like the original line that's all like i had and it was fine like i didn't have those big cups of coffee like beaver tool does but i love lattes i like espresso based drinks cappuccinos things like that and the mini essenza did it all for that in that aspect it wasn't until i saw the virtual next become on sale and then i bought that machine and I started using the Virtuo line. And then I thought, should I just get rid of my Essenza? Maybe I don't need it. But I just never got around to getting rid of it. And I started noticing that the Virtuo pods weren't always available with the original line. And then some of the original line pods weren't available with the Virtuo line. So I decided to keep both. And right now I buy from both lines. And I like it. Really quickly, for example, we have the virtual line ice forte this is coffee this is not espresso it's nice and strong but it's not espresso if you want espresso for a, like a nice strong espresso based drink sometimes ice leggero espresso doesn't cut it so you would want to use the freddo intenso from the original line and that's similar to your ice forte but it's an espresso version so having both machines really gives you and opens up a wider variety of coffee options and you don't need it if you want the best of both worlds honestly you do have coffee option here and you have an espresso option here within the virtual line so if you're not too crazy like me <laughs> then you don't need both machines i would just maybe stick with the virtual line if you want the best of both worlds if you just want espresso based drinks then stick with the original line all right so having said that with the original line cozy has been a recent favorite 
one of my followers sent me some of her original line capsules that she no longer wanted because she ended up getting rid of her machine and um so she sent me some and i forgot about cozy cozy was one of the first ones that i used when i worked with my boss as a nanny she's the one that introduced me to nespresso machines and she actually had one of these sleeves for guests it wasn't her favorite but she had it for guests and i tried it and it was so good it's a level intensity four and it's almost like a basic capsule okay, so it's a mild and delicately toasted pod level intensity four it's citric and cereal honestly i don't taste the citric but i think once you add the milk that goes away and the cereal notes just lend itself to so many variety of drinks that you want you can use if you want like a very light tasting latte maybe with a french vanilla syrup this one is a good one you can try it over ice you can try any pretty much any capsules over ice but cozy is one of my new favorites and next one is this one and vivo lungo this is a whole different capsule this is a level intensity 10 and so it's gonna give you a little bit more coffee flavor um again let me look i guess i just stopped taking notes because this one's not on my ipad either but i'm gonna quickly look it up for you guys and i believe this is an old packaging yeah it's an old packaging because the new packaging looks like um kind of like geometrical like that and and this is a new one so it's like a solid color and then the this is the old one and then the new one has like these little like designs i don't know if you guys can see it um they don't suggest it as an espresso usually they'll have like both espresso and longo if they suggest it but this one is only to be used as a longo for the best taste intense roasted and then um the notes are roastiness and woodiness and it is so good when i tried it it has a good substantial amount of flavor uh coffee flavor and i think it's very very um close to what audacio is it's really really yummy and so this one because of it being cereal and roasted and all that stuff again it's a very um flexible pod that welcomes whatever syrup you want to try pretty much so another good one last but not least um i'm not going to talk too much about it either because i just made a uh, review on it this is the cafecino do brazil capsule oh, this one is so good it's so good it's very nutty if you saw my review take a caffeine shot for every time i said the word nutty it is so good I tried it the other day with pistachio syrup because somebody asked me what it would taste like and holy, holy moly, so good with pistachio syrup. Any nutty syrup that you have will pair well with this. I've tried it with pistachio, I tried it with hazelnut, and I almost want to try it with peanut butter syrup, which wasn't my favorite with other pots, but I think this one will be perfect with peanut butter it is so good let me see the intensity level on this one because i don't quite remember level nine it's intense and spicy as the aromatic profile and the aromatic notes are woody and herbal it's funny because there's no nutty in that description but if you scroll down into the like the whole thing about this pod it says that an intense sensual espresso with unexpected walnut sandalwood and herbal notes um, reminiscent of thyme and rosemary besides all that herbal stuff i don't taste it i think i tasted it when it was without milk but once you add the milk that walnutty flavor i don't really quite taste the walnut but it is definitely nutty so good you guys have to try it if you're into like that nutty uh coffee or nutty flavor syrups try it with this coffee capsule i think you guys would really enjoy it so that is the last capsule that i wanted to try that i wanted to share with you guys i hope this video was educational i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys find new capsules to try within the nespresso website because they do have a lot to offer and i feel like sometimes we get stuck on just one or two capsules but we forget that there's so many to try and i feel like these are also good if you guys have that similar taste as i do try these i don't think you'll be disappointed and if you are disappointed let me know because i'm interested <laughs> of what you guys like so yeah that is all for today's video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye